Let's add background music to our flame visual novel built with Flutter. In the assets folder, create a subdirectory called audio. You need to find some great background music from your library. You can search for the, on the internet for some background music if you don't have a library. OGG is just a music format, it's similar to MP3. Flame Audio is a separate package and you'll need to add it separately with flutter pub add flame underscore audio. In your pubspec.yaml file, you should see flame underscore audio has been inserted. You're also going to need to add the game assets for audio at the, it's closer to the bottom of your pubspec.yaml file. Notice that I have both flame and flame underscore audio packages. Now for the assets. Go to the assets and put the location of the assets, the subdirectory, which is assets slash audio. Run flutter pub get. And now let's jump into the Android files because I'll be running this one on Android. Go into the Android folder, build.gradle, and then look for that Kotlin version, and let's make it a bit larger, 1.5.10. Let's now go back to the main.dart file in your lib folder, and then let's import Flame Audio. At the top of your file, let's import that Flame Audio package. I'm going to put in here manually just to emphasize that Flame has different packages and also the Flame Audio is a separate package here. Within the onload method of Flame Game, let's initialize the background music. The new syntax that we're learning today is Flame Audio dot BGM dot initialize. I'm also going to put a Boolean check here to see if the music is playing. Initially, the music will not be playing. However, we're going to trigger the start of the music when the girl reaches a certain position on the screen. Flame does have its own method to see if the background music is playing. And you could use that method instead of manipulating a Boolean variable. However, in this example, to make it clearer, we're just going to use this Boolean variable and an if statement to check to see if the music is already playing. And if the music's not already playing, we're going to start it when she gets to the certain level on the screen. The new syntax is flameaudio.bgm.play and the name of your music file. Remember that OGG is just a music format. So set up our Boolean check to make sure that the music is not playing. And if it's not playing, we're going to play the music and then we're going to flip that Boolean variable to true. Again, you don't need this step because Flame does have a method in here uh, to check to see if the background music is already playing or not. However, I think it's a little easier to understand at this point in uh, our game development to make sure that music's not playing and then we can set it to music playing here. Let's test it out. Initially there should be silence and the music should play when the girl reaches a bit past the cherry blossom. If you try to play the music on the website or a web page, you'll get an error that in order to play the music, you'll, you're going to need to have some user interaction. So if we just drop this music down after the first button press, um, it should be able to play it here. So let's give it a try. So it's when they press the button to get to the next scene. So the first scene um, is this intro and there's not going to be music in our storyline because uh, we also want to maybe share it with our friends on the web. So when you press it now, music will be 